Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the Selby series. Selby is one of 11 subdivisions of the county of North Yorkshire. It's made up of 74 civil parishes, a lot of which are very small. Which one are we in this week? Now today for you in Selby I've got another one that's really, really small. In fact, it's so small that from this end of the village, I can almost see the other end of the village. <laughs> this is how small it is. Oh, hello, Nikki. I didn't really realise you were here. Yes. Yeah, Nikki is with me again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and explore Catterton. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. So this will be one of the shortest videos I've ever made. Catterton is a tiny hamlet situated between Bilbra and Helaw in the Selby district of North Yorkshire. At the 2011 census, the population was less than 100, and it's included within that of Helaw. Together with Helaw, Catterton has a joint parish council. It's nothing much more than a handful of houses and farms on an S-bend. You can see from one end of the village to the other if you stand in the right place. The first part of the name Catterton is the Britonic Cadia, which means chair or throne. As this is suffixed with the Old English tun, which means a farm, this is literally chair farm. It's not the only place in England which got its name in this way. Chatterton and Chatterton are two settlements in Lancashire whose names also have the same origin. For the most part, Catterton is just one road, but there are a couple of footpaths around, including this one, which Nikki spotted. Here's some other basic information. Nikki just made me stand here for a moment and listen. Apparently there's a woodpecker around because apparently Nikki can hear it. I can't hear I can't hear a thing. <laughs> and I wouldn't know what I'm listening for anyway. What's it sound like? It goes. <laughs> right, okay. It's a bit weird, I know. If anyone hears that in the course of this video, please do let me know. A bit of research confirmed it was a woodpecker we could hear. The noise they make is known as drumming, a rapid hammering sound that their beaks make on wood when attracting a mate. Nikki suggested seeing as this is a very short episode, including some information about the woodpeckers you find in the UK. Compared with continental Europe, the woodpecker population here is relatively poor. Of the three species that breed here, two, the great spotted and the green, are relatively common, but the lesser spotted is among Britain's fastest declining species. We do have a fourth species, Rhineck, once bred sporadically in southern England, but it's now recorded here only as a scarce passage migrant. Despite its size, Catterton does have some history. Back to the village, Catterton was once a township of Tadcaster as recently as 1890. Containing 710 acres and with a population of 44, the land at that time belonged to an E. Brooksbank Esquire. The soil was described as both clay and gravel, with farms here producing cereals and turnips. The hamlet consisted of five farmhouses and a few cottages. It's also the location of a moated site, which is a scheduled monument under the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Areas Act 1979. Most such sites were built between 1250 and 1350, though construction continued throughout the medieval period. I'll show you where I thought this could have been when we walk back. That's what we're about to do now. The houses end around here, and between Catterton and Bilbra, Moor Lane continues as a narrow country road. So 
serious question, do the horses outnumber the humans in Catherton? Possible. This is where I thought the moated site could have been, but this turned out just to be some scrubland. The site is in fact at Catterton Hall Farm, just to the south of the village. Always a vital part of really rural village life, Catterton has a post box. Of course, this is way too small to sustain a shop or post office. It is though, on a bus route. So Google Maps reckons there's a bus stop here, but can you see a bus stop anywhere? No, <laughs> there are no bus stops here. So we think it's a... Must be a hail and ride service. Hail and ride service. So, woo, woo. Mr. Bus Driver, yeah, stop for you. me. <laughs> There's some eggs for sale here on a stall. If you fancy some from Catterton, you'll need £1.30. Not bad, to be honest. Our walk is almost at an end. This unnamed road has a few more houses, but it's a dead end. That means there's just time as we meander back to Moor Lane to talk about Catterton's other piece of history. In the 17th century, Catterton's inhabitants came into conflict with people from neighbouring Bilborough over a tract of unenclosed moorland between the two settlements. A meeting between the two sides, organised by the intervention of prominent Yorkshire figures, including Robert Fairfax, devolved into violence. In 1723, the two sides resolved their dispute by digging a ditch from Thwaites Lane to Eskers to divide the land. The ditch still existed in the year 1900. And that's really it. There's no picture bit today because this one is far too small to warrant one. It's just a tiny rural hamlet in the Ainsty, quietly minding its own business. Okay, because this one's so small, I'm going to put the camera on the dashboard now and drive that way towards my next village, just to basically give you a bit more of a feel for what's here, because to be honest with you, this is probably the smallest one I've ever done in Selby. Just crossed Catterton Beck, which I think is about the only other landmark in this village. And now I'm heading up towards my next one. I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot. This has been the parish of Catterton, and I'm out.